another parade, another bloody negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlay from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orle would control us. And based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Inquisitor, it has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. Have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Corypheus left a great deal of damage for us to repair. I appreciate your efforts. And I yours, Your Worship. The Inquisition forces were of great help tending the sick. The Elysian soldiers at Suladin keep somewhat less so. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden ambassador's concerns. You can probably just call her Vivienne in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinia. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. Oh, with respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. The first year of Victoria's reign was tumultuous. We did not see the peace for which I had hoped. Nevertheless, she has united the Chantry and proven that the mages are under her control. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Ole. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Divinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us, and deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize? To Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apology somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras, for one. I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom Ranier. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have the chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This exalted council, Ferelden would have the Inquisition disband. Ole sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition?
The Inquisition still has work to do. We can't let someone's fear push us into disbanding. Then I wish you luck in the negotiations to come. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the Captain of the City Guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor! Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you? Are you in some kind of trouble? What's happened this time? Ah, so suspicious. I'll have you know I've never been convicted of anything. Officially. Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount... Provisional Viscount. Of Kirkwall? And what are you doing now? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now. Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. Does this mean I can't tempt you into coming back to Skyhold? Wicked Grace hasn't been the same since you left. I'm probably going to be stuck in Kirkwall for the foreseeable future. There's a lot to do back home. They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a Comtesse now. You can't actually do that without... Too late. Already did it. You should stop by Hightown sometime to see your estate. It's pretty nice. For Kirkwall, anyway. Proper disposition of empty estates is supposed to... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <sighs> What brought all this on? I'm pretty sure it's not give your friends lavish titles day. Well, what kind of Viscount would I be if I didn't abuse my position to give shit to my friends? I've got traditions to uphold. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the council and a special ceremony. It... It's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. Thank you. I'm touched. A little bit horrified by this key now, but still touched. Please don't give anything else away. I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess. Anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. And we'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? I wouldn't miss it. 
Don't bet any public buildings this time. I'll be here if you need me. Fashionably late. I thought you weren't going to show. <laughs> I gave you my word we would talk, and I never break my word. Easy there. I was just teasing. So tell me everything that happened while I was away. Garolf strolls up, hands filled with ripe squashes, and says, Sir, I must report that it was an utter boondoggle. Ha 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 ha! Uh, maybe you had to be there. It's good to see you fitting in. It has its warts, that's for sure. But this life feels right. Like it's where I'm supposed to be. Anyway... Nice to be back, though I'm not sure what to think of this council. The Wardens will be missing me, but they aren't going to keep me away from a friend who might need my sword arm. Your aim is atrocious. I'm embarrassed for you. Think you can do better. Inquisitor. Dragons in the sky, the fighting has begun. Shadow versus light, and who will stand when it is done? Just doesn't fry his destiny. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Did you know that a merchant in the courtyard is selling gemstones the same color as your eyes? What an odd thing to say. Hmm, I must see this for myself. I appreciate the help getting him elsewhere. I still don't understand Orlesians and their masks, but it makes him happy. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. <laughs> oh, Cole, good day. I didn't see you there. But I saw you, as lovely as your songs. I'm pleased for both of you. The world has ample pain, Inquisitor. The kindness found in Cole is rare indeed. Her songs bring happiness to those who hear, and I can make her happy in return. Well then, carry on. The scout lays harding, swift and conning, her arrows cut. Hello. The scout lays harding, swift and conning, her arrows cut you down to size. The scout lays harding, taught by taunting, laughs a lightly fading. Here's you, and everyone. Glad to be back all stuffed together, with the pressure full on. 
Again. Don't worry, Herald of Everywhere. I came prepared. I know what everyone needs. Just like best times. I expected a roof. It's early. Anyway, that was a good run. It's all been a good run. I needed that. And I need... You know it's ending, right? We can say it won't, but knobs in places like this. All they do is end things. They'll try a leash. Or worse. But maybe you aren't ready to quit just because some Lord Piddlebits is scared of us. Do I seem like I'm ready to retire? I'm tired. I've never done anything for years. Point is, sooner or sooner, all this changes. And you've helped me understand. Too much. So it's my turn to help you. See, I have these friends. And all of them were the wrong sort of whatever. Their place changed, or it never was. So together, we made an us. Everyone needs an us. And when the world is done saying no and calls you the wrong sort of whatever, maybe we can be that us for you. What do you think, Inquisitor? Want to run some rooftops as a Jenny? You want the Inquisitor? Don't I have a few more titles than your usual Jenny? No offense. Some taken. Pfft, words. Look, we don't want you. We want to be there for you. If you want to keep doing, it won't be nobles who help. It'll be friends. Well, all I have to say is... Call me... Red Frigging Jenny. Way too confusing. You'll get a city. One that rhymes with arse. Oh! I should have said we needed a we instead of an us, because... <laughs> Wait! Anus! <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> to all my friends. Always and ever, Inquisitor. Always and ever. Sarah was never in the grip. Creepy song is creepy. Blah. Go figure out what ends this bunch want, and then we can get to fun with friends and friends. Your Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's for his birthday. I'll see what I can do, Krem. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. news of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. It's good to see that the Veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the Veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the Fade. Hmm. Ah. 
Did you know that Ferelden has its own names for lords? The country is divided into ten is, governed by tens. Inside those are cities and arlings ruled by arls, and then there's the Banorn. It's a large area of countryside ruled by multiple bands. <sighs> Good to know. It's fascinating to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during Orlesian unification under the reign of Mafrath's son, Isarath. Uh huh. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sure you can. They must have that thing almost across the room by now, right? Ben Hasrath, remember. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! Hey, boss. <laughs> Do we? Oh. Is everything all right? Yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. I am. What's on your mind? Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Maybe I should sit. Inquisitor, I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. Oh, well, that's... So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what is in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. I really can't imagine what you mean. Oh, I'm talking about marriage. Marriage? Josephine is a wonderful woman. If you're clear on your path to... You're not proposing... to anyone. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? He said I was going to propose. He mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. I might get married. I've thought about it. I suspected as much. Being Inquisitor has brought you good things. Many good things. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what happiness you can from those, and do not let them go. That is all I meant to say. Advice from a friend for the days to come. How did Varric, of all people, become the Viscount of Kirkwall? Oh, a mystery for the ages. 
It is good to see you, my friend. It is good to see you, my friend. It's so good to see you, darling. I've been fielding Orlesian diplomats all afternoon. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock, idle chat with the Inquisitor. Of course not. <clears throat> not precisely. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Oh, very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orlé, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. ...and then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. Sometimes... ...I'm afraid I do not make enough time for you, my love. Please, come with me tonight. And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. If it makes you happy, how can I refuse? Oh, wonderful. I was worried we wouldn't find the time. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! Was the woman in gold playing a king? Who was the man in feathers? Oh, it's all very simple. The first actor's mask is determined by... Uh, well, I will lend you the program guide. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? The performance pales in comparison to the lovely lady I saw it with. You are sidestepping the question. Love leaves my tongue tied. Well, in that case, I suppose allowances can be made. Yeah. 
I do hope you recovered from your night from your night at the opera. Any ear ringing should go away in a day or two. Hello, my love. Hello, my love. You there! You're to dodge, not catch. If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. You... found a dog. They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. of you with that positive attitude and fetching ability <laughs> he's not supposed to fetch it I don't think you understand how this works another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace I couldn't leave him to that fate besides <laughs> I think he likes me I never expected you to make friends at a political council. How times have changed. <laughs> so they have. The Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Whatever happens, our people, you, Liliana, Josephine, will have my support in whatever form you require. If your support comes with that of your new friend, I'm sold. I know a useful ally when I see one. You can help. Dodge this, and I'll find overpriced Orlesian dog treats before we go. Be careful, Inquisitor. We have a ways to go yet.